Hi there, this is Anup here and today we are going to talk about Windows Auto Patch, how to enroll, how to register cloud PCs with Windows Auto Patch. Windows 365 cloud PCs is one of the best way to deploy VDI personal virtual desktops. So we will see what are the different options to get all these cloud PCs, Windows 365 cloud PCs into automatic patching solution which is provided by Microsoft and don't think there is any additional license cost involved to have this service enabled for cloud PC licensed users. This is what I have seen as per my quick test and we are going to see some of the scenarios where you need to take care of some conflict when you deploy auto patch policies to cloud PCs we will see all these things in the demo and in the presentation so don't skip it let's go and check it out now let's discuss about how to add Windows 365 cloud PC to auto patch service so that you don't need to worry about patching of cloud PCs how to add existing cloud PCs to auto patch service and how to discover the cloud PCs for auto patch service and how to assign cloud PCs to different phase groups of Windows auto patch and we will quickly talk about the conflicts also what are the things you need to take care when you enable auto patch enrollment from the provisioning policies let's go to the next slide auto patch is the service that Microsoft provides to help admins and organization to patch Windows operating system Microsoft 365 applications Microsoft Edge browser Microsoft Teams this is a cloud service that is provided by Microsoft so that you don't need to worry about phase based patch deployments in your organization and you can increase the productivity across the organization normally I have seen many organizations and almost all the organization follow the second patch Tuesday patch deployment process during that process monthly they need to spend a lot of time going through all the patches and deploying it to all the devices devices initially testing it with all the devices and then deploying it to phase one phase two and then broadly deploy it etc etc so that is a tedious process and that needs more manpower so with windows auto patch microsoft is helping admins and organization to reduce those man hours and helping to increase the productivity across your organization these two are the parts which it admin need to do apart from that main deployment and phase wise deployment everything is managed by windows Windows auto patch service IT admin needs to identify and add devices to a discovery group or you can use nested Azure Active Directory group to add Azure Active Directory dynamic device group so that the devices will automatically get added to Windows auto patch so from a cloud PC perspective they made it pretty easy we will see that in the next slide the discovery and enrollment of cloud PCs into auto patch service and from auto patch service side it will manage the readiness it will calculate the deployment ring and distribution for you assign devices to deployment rings or groups if you want if you select specifically automatic one and assign devices to Azure Active Directory groups required for management and marks devices as active for the auto patch service all these things are managed by auto patch service itself now the part that admin needs to take care is monitored devices registration you need to confirm the devices registered with auto patch or not and then whether patches are getting deployed onto the devices or not that is also the responsibility of IT admins now let's go to the next slide this is the high level workflow or flowchart for auto patch scenario first 
IT admin needs to identify the devices and then add the devices to Azure Active Directory group. Automation is also possible through the nesting of Azure Active Directory dynamic device groups and you can use run books and service account etc. And then once devices are discovered it is part of Windows Autopath service role and it will go through all the scenarios and then the third thing would be Intune Graph API. Intune Graph API searches for the device attributes requested by the auto patch. So if the device is managed by Intune then only you can enroll the devices into auto patch service and it is possible for co-managed devices also if the appropriate workloads are moved to Intune. Then it will go through all these workflows and then it will check the registration of the devices and if the device is registered and the device status is active then we are all set for automatic patching scenario so where the cloud pc will come in windows 365 will come in we'll see that in the next slide but to give you an overview if you enable auto patch enrollment from the provisioning policies then windows 365 provisioning process will automatically con Windows Auto Patch Service API and register the devices with that service. So you don't need to add those devices using this method as an admin. That is kind of a next level of automation. This is only for new devices etc. We'll see that in details in the next slide. So let's go to the next slide. Auto Patch registration for Windows 365 or Cloud PCs. What are the options to register Windows 365 Cloud PCs into Auto Patch service? There are two different ways to do that but before getting into that this service enrollment is only available for Windows 365 Enterprise Edition. This is not available for Business Edition. If you are using Business Edition of Windows 365 Cloud PC then this is not something that they can support. So this is only available for Enterprise Edition and Intune managed devices. So once you enable this option from your Windows 365 provisioning policy if you go to additional services you will get an option to select a service Windows Auto Patch is one of the service listed over there if you select that and save your provisioning policy then all the newly provisioned devices after this action will get automatically added to Windows Auto Patch if you are in a situation where you already have lot of existing cloud PCs and you want to add those cloud PCs into auto patch then you need to go through these two steps actually adding it using some automation or adding it manually to this particular Azure Active Directory group so these are the two scenarios one is Windows auto patch device registration will automatically happen when you enable this option from the provisioning policy policy so what will happen is windows 365 provisioning policy creation process will call auto patch device registration api and register the device for it admin so these two steps are getting removed from it admins responsibility that is why i said this is kind of a next level of automation that means that is the first scenario that is the best option to enable auto patch service for all the newly provisioned devices the second option is if you have several old cloud PCs then you need to add them to auto patch Azure Active Directory discovery group using some automation or manual method let's go to the next slide in this slide you can see two devices one is basically automatically added to the discovery and it automatically came into ready tab within Windows Auto Patch. It happened automatically from Windows 365 provisioning process side as we discussed in the previous slide. This is the first scenario and the second scenario is already provisioned device before enabling the Auto Patch from the provisioning policies. Then you need to manually add this particular device to Azure Active Directory AAD group 
Azure Active Directory group and that will take care of the registration process. So as you can see, this is the registration process. Active means it is registered. That is the main difference between already provisioned versus newly provisioned cloud PCs. Let's go to the next slide. In this slide, what we are going to see is what are the options to add the devices to a particular auto patch group. In this screen, you can see it is added to first group. If you want to change that, you can do that. You have an option to do that. If you add devices to automatic group, what will happen is it will let cloud service, auto patch cloud service to automatically assign the devices to one of the groups based on the based on several factors that will get assessed during this process. This is all managed from cloud services. And the other option is test. You can manually assign the devices, cloud PCs to any of these groups. You can assign it to test group if you want. If you want to control it, first group, fast group and broad group. Test group is basically for testing purpose only. And the first group is basically for early adopt and if you want some updates to be validated by someone then that would be the first group those devices would be part of first group and what is fast group fast group is best for assessing the quality issues prior to full deployment or broad deployment and broad deployment is basically all the rest of the devices in your organization which are not part of all four of these groups so that is basically for business critical devices etc etc let's quickly look into the options to change the patching mechanism for existing profiles of Windows 365 cloud PC if you log into Microsoft Intune admin center and go to devices over here under devices if you go over Windows 365 node you would be able to see the provisioning profiles are here if you click on that tab you will get provisioning profiles so under that I am going to go into Windows 365 Azure AD join profile. If I click on that you would be able to see there are different options here. First one is basic general options. Join type is Azure AD join. The second thing I want to do is additional services I am going to add. At the moment it is using the default patching mechanism. I am going to add something interesting and it would be auto patch. You can add auto Auto patch into Windows 365 profiles so that auto patch can manage Windows 365 cloud PCs without any additional cost etc. Let's click on edit and over here you would be able to see this is Windows settings. Here is the catch. Here is a good option. Right? Additional service. You can use additional service for common tasks. These are included in your current subscription and available at no additional cost that is really good isn't it and then you can select service under service you would be able to see okay none at the moment this is not managed from windows 365 cloud pc perspective it is not manually managed but we have assigned intune policies now there's an option to have auto patch without any additional cost as you can see over here available at no additional cost so this is a great option for windows 365 cloud pcs so i'm going to select this one by clicking on this circle over here and then click on next button to continue click on next and now you can see what are the changes happened over here the additional service we have added windows auto patch we'll provide more details in the description of the video over here about windows auto patch click on update if i click on update it is going to update configuration of profile now let's go ahead and check auto patch scenario whether we got devices added to auto patch or not now as you can see over here these devices are managed by windows auto patch at the moment no devices to register more devices add members to azure ad group called windows auto patch device registration so let's go ahead and check what does this group how to add cloud pcs to this group groups are over here if i click on that windows auto patch device registration this is the group I'm going to click on that members of this group 
at the moment is these devices but i don't think these devices are anymore existing so i'm going to remove these devices and then what i'm going to do is i'm going to add existing cloud pc now we are going back to devices over here and under devices you can see whether any device is there or not i need to click on discover devices option let's do that discover devices click on okay to confirm that process can take up to one hour okay it says click on okay and now the sync process is in progress as you can see over here it got synced and we can see some of the the old devices are already removed from here now let's go back and see what is happening over here whether there is any new device coming up over here or not and now let's go back to cloud pc and see what is happening one cloud pc is getting provisioned and the other one is already provisioned now you can see the device got added over here and status shows active now we have added auto patch to the provisioning process and after that if you see there's a new cloud pc which got provisioned as you can see over here this one and that cloud pc got automatically added to windows auto patch if i click on this you can see this is the cloud pc which got automatically added as part of provisioning process because we updated the provisioning profile but if you look at this cloud pc i added that cloud pc to this particular group then only it got discovered by auto patch process over here as we have seen previously but quickly if i go to groups over here and check windows auto patch group you can only see one device that is the old device so for existing devices you need to add them to this group to get registered with auto patch even if you updated the provisioning policy of windows 365 cloud pc but for the new devices it will get automatically added as part of the provisioning process you don't need to add device to this particular group that is what I can see over here. Okay, you need to check whether there is any conflict with auto patch and existing policies. As you can see over here, there are a lot of conflicts in that auto patch conflict over here on data collection and monthly patching. There's a conflict and there's a conflict on modern workplace and there's a conflict in auto patch office updates also you need to careful about these configurations or policies when you enable auto patch on your device or cloud pc now that you have seen all the details about enrolling cloud pcs automatically to auto patch so that you don't need to manage the patching of cloud PCs. Now that Microsoft will handle all the patching of cloud PCs once you have enabled auto patch from the provisioning policies itself. We have discussed about different scenarios, existing cloud PCs and the newly provisioned cloud PCs after enabling the auto patch option from the provisioning policies. So we have discussed about different Azure Active Directory groups, which is going to play an important role in auto patch scenario for cloud PCs. At what situation we need to add devices into that particular device registration group? Is that only for existing cloud PCs? We discussed a whole lot of things. Hope this was helpful to you. Thank you all for watching. See you around.